Hi, my name is Angelo Tropea, and I've been writing exam prep books and teaching about different exams for a very long time. Okay, maybe not as long as the picture might suggest, but certainly more than 30 years. I started in the court system as a court officer and retired as a borough chief clerk. Okay, as you probably know, the New York State Court Officer Exam officially known as the Court Officer Trainee Exam, has been scheduled for September 7, 2021 through December 10, 2021. Therefore, it's time to get ready. But I'm not talking about running to the gym and getting into good shape. I'm talking about preparing for the written exam so you will get the highest score you possibly can. By preparing, I mean cultivating the right attitude and the necessary knowledge. By the right attitude, I mean not thinking the exam is a general knowledge exam and also not thinking that all you have to do to get hired is just pass the exam. Anything less than a very good score will probably not be sufficient. If there were only two people taking the exam and three jobs were available, then you would be right. But reality is different. We couldn't find how many applications were submitted for the exam, but many tens of thousands might have applied for the few thousand positions that will open during the life of the list. An 80 or 85 score on the exam might not be enough. You might be surprised at the number of people who achieve a higher score and the number of people who receive additional veterans credits added to their raw score. When I took the exam, I scored a 94. And with my five veterans credits, my final score was 99 which put me as number 20 on the exam list where more than 62,000 people took the exam. Please keep in mind that this video is an introduction and a general overview and a guess estimate and not a complete treatment of the possible types of questions and nuances of the exam. Before we start, Please remember that you don't need to have more than a high school or equivalent education, nor do you have to be an Albert Einstein to do well in the exam. If you graduated from high school or have a GED, you are capable of competing in the same ballpark as others who have higher degrees, but who go into the test thinking that they know it all and don't need to prepare. So how can you prepare for the exam? I recommend a simple three-step process. Number one, learn about the scope of the exam, how many questions, what type of questions, and so on, and get as many hints as possible. Number two, practice all the different types of questions. And finally, number three, take as many practice exams as you can. Most people who are really smart realize they don't know it all. There's always something more you can learn about a type of question or about how to be more careful and earn those extra points that will make the difference between getting the job or having to wait another four or five years until the next exam. Okay we're ready to start on our walkthrough of the five types of questions that have been on recent New York State Court Officer Trainee exams. Please keep in mind that these question types are just simple examples provided by the Office of Court Administration. Based on more than 30 years of experience, I expect that the questions on the test will be longer and more difficult. Although you have a high school diploma or higher degree, you are probably not familiar with the first type of question, 
remembering facts and information. The following is a quote from the Office of Court Administration Sample Examination Questions. You will be provided with a written description of an incident, a story, and given five minutes to read and study the story. At the end of the five minute period, the story will be removed and you will not have another opportunity to refer back to it. You will not be permitted to make any written notes about the story. There will be a 10 minute delay before you receive your test question booklet. You will then be asked a series of questions about the facts concerning the story. The following sample directions are provided. Directions. Read the story below. Study it for five minutes. Then turn the story over and wait for 10 minutes before you answer the five questions on the following page. Try to remember as many details of the incident without making any written notes. Remember now that this is a computer-based examination and the presentation of the story and the questions may be different. Also, I would like to add here that the number of questions is usually 10 or 15. If you wish to practice the following, is a sample memory question provided by the courts. Continue to the next slide and read the passage for five minutes while trying to remember as many details as you can. Then wait 10 minutes and answer the five questions that follow the passage. Please pause the video and read the following passage for five minutes. Then wait 10 more minutes before answering the five questions that follow the passage. Please pause the video and answer the five questions before continuing. Please pause the video and check your answers before continuing to the next type of question. The next type of question is reading, understanding and interpreting written material. The Office of Court Administration sample examination questions gives examples of two types of reading questions. In the first type, a written passage is presented followed by questions about the passage. The second type contains a passage from which some words have been omitted. The Office of Court Administration Sample Examination Questions explains reading comprehension format A in the following way. In this format, each question contains a brief reading selection followed by a question or questions pertaining to the information in the selection. Here I'm a little surprised that they describe the selection as being a brief reading. I have heard that some people have experienced a little longer than brief selections, a number of paragraphs long. All of the information required to answer the questions is provided. So even if the reading selection is on a topic with which you are not familiar, you will be able to answer the questions by reading the selection carefully. Remember, answer the questions based only on the information you read in the selection. Do not use any prior knowledge in that you may have on the subject in choosing your answers. This last warning is very important. Do not use your personal knowledge to answer a question. Use only what is stated in the passage. This is very important when you are working as a court officer. For example, if you are given a procedure manual, you are expected to follow the directions in the manual and not substitute procedures that you learned someplace else. The following is from the court's sample examination questions. Please pause the video, read the directions and question, and then answer the question before proceeding with the video. The correct answer is C. Please pause the video and consider the reasons why the other choices are not correct. 
The second type of reading, understanding, and interpreting written material question is described as follows. In this format, the test contains a short written passage from which some words have been omitted. You need to select one word from the four alternatives that best completes the passage. The following is from the sample examination questions. Please pause the video, read the directions and passage, and then answer the questions before proceeding with the video. Please pause the video and check your answers. The third type of question is applying facts and information to given situations. This is also another type of question that you probably never saw in school. The sample examination questions booklet describes this type of question as follows. Please pause the video and read the question description and sample directions before you go on to the question on the next page. Please pause the video, read the policy and situation, and then answer the question before going on to the next page. The answer is B. This type of question requires experience, good judgment, and clarity of thought. Experience is a key factor with this type of question. I think that the younger you are, the more you need to practice these questions. You would be surprised how after a while you begin to see patterns in similar questions. Pause the video if you wish. If not, we will continue. The next type of question is clerical checking. Please pause the video and read the description of the question and sample directions before continuing on. Please pause the video and answer question one before continuing on. Please pause the video and review the answer for question one. Please pause the video and answer question two before continuing. Please pause the video and review the answer for question two before continuing. Question type number five is record keeping. Please pause the video and read the description and directions for record keeping questions before continuing. There are four tables provided. These are the first two. Please pause the video and try to become familiar with them before continuing. These are the third and fourth tables. The third one already has some information filled in. Please pause the video and try to become familiar with them before continuing to the three questions. There are more than a few approaches to answering the questions. The Concept Review Court Officer Exam Prep class reviews them all and gives you valuable hints to maximize your score. I have placed a link to their website, courtofficerexam.com, in the description section below. Please pause the video and answer the three questions before continuing. Please pause the video and consider the answers to the three questions before continuing. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Also, check out our books at angelotropeabooks.com. The link is in the description section below. I hope that you will prepare well for the exam. The rewards are great. The court officer position doesn't provide just a job. It provides a career. Working in the courts is rewarding. 
you have a great employer and definitely terrific unions, especially in New York City under the leadership of Mr. Dennis Quirk. You have to be in it to win it. Get into the courts and then promote in the court officer ranks and the clerical administrative series. If you made it so far in the video, I am certain that you are taking this opportunity seriously and that you have great resolve. Like a soldier, put on all your gear and head resolutely into the battle. Chances are you will be victorious. A sincere best of luck.